Hi guys, it's a beautiful day here in LA and as we promised in our last video, today we're going to cover the five sources of liquidity that can help you get started in real estate. And let's begin. Number one is savings and personal liquidity that you've accumulated over time or that you're perhaps receiving in the form of annual bonuses from your employer. Number two is cash out refinance of your personal home or other properties that you may have acquired in the past. Such cash out refi income is typically tax free as it is considered debt. The key here of course is to make sure that since you will be putting in more debt, more leverage on the property, you're able to meet those higher debt service requirements. Number three is a loan against your life insurance policy if you have one. You can usually get relatively flexible terms if you get such a loan directly from the life insurance company or you can pledge such policy as collateral and uh, with a bank and borrow against it. Of course, the key in that scenario is to make sure that the returns generated by such investment vehicle exceed the interest rate that you will pay on that loan and or that you can uh, pay off that loan relatively um, quickly via other um, cash flow means, including those from the investment vehicle. Number four are 1031 exchange proceeds, uh, which effectively enable you to save or defer on the capital gains taxes from a property that you previously acquired and roll over the uh, proceeds into a larger property that will bring you even more cash flow and you can potentially keep um, doing 1031 exchanges or rolling over such capital gains um, in a like one, like um, investment vehicle over and over and over again and number five last but not least self-directed uh, retirement accounts many of you have probably heard uh, or already have 401k plans provided by your employer or individual retirement accounts iras such accounts are typically limited to investing the proceeds into stocks and bonds basically marketable securities the self-directed IRA is typically handled by a different custodian but enables you to invest such proceeds in other investment vehicles such as real estate and enjoy um, tax-free gains on, on those investments. So that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to hear more about each of the five options that you mentioned in more detail, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you.